Thanks for checking out this video. So let's go ahead and talk about what is coming to Shutter for March. And I will tell you off the bat, I am excited for what's coming in March because there are two films in particular that I've had on my list to see that I've heard good things about. So I'm very excited when Shutter, you know, brings me movies that are on my list that I can then check off. Uh, I'm not as excited for March as I was for February. I feel like Shutter did an awesome job in February. They dropped a lot of films that I really either wanted to check out for the first time or wanted to watch again. So obviously those are still streaming, so go check those out. Um, so let's get into it with the March ones. And then I'm, I am going to say, I'll give some updates at the very end of this video if people, if not everyone wants to see it, just a few of the videos I'm working on for movie reviews. And yeah, I'll just do that at the end if people just want to find out the Shutter stuff and then stop. So let's get into it. So for Shutter Originals and Exclusives, we have The Room, which will be hitting March 12th, which is a Thursday. They usually put them out on Thursdays, usually. Uh, this one, The Room is a Best Feature winner at Bush, Bushion International and Strasbourg European Fantastic Film Festival. Um, he's a struggling comic book artist. She's tired of her job in a big law firm. In search of a more authentic and healthy life, they leave the city and move into an old house in New Hampshire. They soon discover a secret hidden room that has the extraordinary power to materialize anything they wish for. Like children in a fairy tale, they spend days and nights indulging their every material desire. And then one day, they ask for something different. A child. A little boy of their own. Only to discover some wishes have dire consequences. I mean, I assumed, being a horror movie now. Um, this is a Shudder original. I'd check it out. I don't know. Uh, when I first saw The Room, I was like, oh man, they're going to have Tommy Wiseau's The Room. I love that movie because it's so awful. So awful. But I love it, how awful that is. Okay, so this next one is a Shutter exclusive. And this is one of the ones that was on my list that I'm very happy to be able to check out now. It is Satanic Panic. And this one's hitting Thursday, March 19th. Sam's first day as a pizza delivery driver is not going according to plan. At the end of a long day and not enough tips, her last delivery turns out to be for a group of Satanists looking for someone to sacrifice. Now in a fight for her life, Sam must fend off witches, evil spells, and demonic creatures, all while trying to keep her body and soul intact. I'm very excited about this one. Uh, I read some good reviews on it. Um, also, you know, the premise just sounds great. You know, yeah. Reminds me a little bit of Ty West's um, House of the Devil in that same vein. I'm sure it'll be very different, but that, you know, material. So very excited about that. And then this is the other one, and this is another Shutter exclusive. So uh, Daniel Isn't Real. This one premieres Thursday, March 26th. Uh, this one, this was at a one best feature at Brooklyn Horror Film Festival, best actor at Sitkiss Catalonian International Film Festival, and best director at that Bouchon International Fantastic Film Festival. Um, Troubled college freshman Luke suffers a violent family trauma and resurrects his childhood Im imaginary friend Daniel to help him cope. Charismatic and full of manic energy, Daniel helps Luke to achieve his dreams before pushing him to the very edge of sanity and into a desperate struggle for control of his mind and his soul. Oh, that's very similar to the last one, the and their soul. It's like the same writing. It's kind of funny. So Patrick Schwarzenegger is in this, and I've heard he does a good job. Yes, Arnold Schwarzen Schwarzenegger's son. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, I've heard good things about Satanic Panic, heard good things about Daniel Isn't Real. So I'm very excited to watch those when they hit. Uh, the Deadlands is still going on. Um, I will be doing a review on The Deadlands once I have seen all of those episodes. I am getting screeners for them, but I don't think all the episodes are available to me for screeners yet. Once they're all available and I've gone through all of them, I've only gone for, through like the first three, I think. So I have a little catch up to do. But once that's done, I'll be putting up a review of The Deadlands. I will say at the moment, I'm enjoying it. Um, I think it's going to be ramping up more. So I'm going to see to what level I'm enjoying it. But well, I won't say too much about it. So yeah, Deadlands. <coughs> Excuse me. That show's still going on. Then there's going to be a season two of the show called Missions. I didn't see the first season. I don't know anything about it. Uh, so here, here's what it is. It's Shutter Original. A tech billionaire hired, hired a group of astronauts and psychologist Jean Renoir to make the first successful journey to Mars, but the voyage didn't go according to plan. Now five years have passed since the crew of the Ulysses returned to Earth. The memories and traumas of the first manned voyage to Mars still haunt each of the mission survivors. 
but everything changes when they each experience a vision of Jean, convincing them that somehow, somewhere, she is still alive. A new secret mission for the Red Planet is launched to find her, but the billionaire still has a few secrets, as does Mars itself. Uh, I don't know. Not really big into, like, space stuff, so I might give a pass on this one, plus I'd probably have to watch the first season. Um, I don't know if I want to get involved. <coughs> Excuse me. Get, still getting over some stuff. Don't know if I want to get involved in that one. Okay, so the non-exclusives, non-originals, here we go. March 2nd. These are the films coming March 2nd. Replace. Afflicted with a dermatological disease, young and beautiful Kira discovers that she can replace her skin with that of other girls. Helped by her... <coughs> excuse me helped by her lover she plots a murder and the victims become her donor but when the disease returns she is forced to find more victims yeah sounds good oh barbara crampton's in it i feel like i have to watch it then i really like barbara crampton she's really cool um if, if people are on twitter you should definitely follow her on twitter she's a very positive person um she's really cool um yeah so that one might be one to watch sounds interesting now a movie that yeah, I'm going to watch this because it's about due for a rewatch for me. I might actually do a review on it. Put some comments down there if you want me to do a review on this. I really like this movie, Ginger Snaps. Um, I'll, read the I'll read the synopsis for people who have not seen it, but you it's a must. It's a must. Morbid and singular in their small town, Bridget and Ginger vow to live and die together. But when Ginger is attacked by a werewolf, she grows detached from her sister and embraces a vicious new lifestyle. It is good. I can vouch for that so i might do a review on that one i'm definitely gonna watch it again because it's been a while march 9th uh luciferina a young sexually curious nun <laughs> okay and a group of her friends travel to the jungle for an occult ceremony where they encounter the devil himself i don't really like devil movies so much like that um yeah so i don't know probably pass on that one frankenstein uh, this update on the classic Frankenstein is set in present day and told entirely from Adam, the monster's perspective. Adam is confronted with nothing but aggression and violence from the world around him after he is artificially created, then left for dead. I'm going to pass on that. I don't like these stories that are just continually told and told and told and told. <clears throat> Sorry, again. I, I understand it's a, it's a different perspective, but just, you know, if it's the same tired old story, I'm out. I'm not interested. Okay, March 16th, the movie Red Christmas. A mother must protect her family on Christmas Day from a demented stranger who is hell-bent on tearing them apart after being rejected. I might check this one out because Dee Wallace is in it, and Dee Wallace is another person I really like and like to support. She, I've met her before. She's super cool, super nice. Wonderful, wonderful lady. Then there's the film Howl. Young, ambitious ticket collector Joe is overseeing the last train out of London on a dark and stormy night. The usual collection of passengers on board from the obnoxious teen to the workaholic businesswoman. Suddenly, the train screeches to a halt in a forest after hitting something on the tracks, but the investigating driver never returns. Realizing an unknown and dangerous threat is lurking in the woods, the disparate group of strangers must work together in order to survive a common feral enemy. That sounds interesting. I do want to check that one out, especially because it sounds like a creature feature. It sounds like it's either a creature feature or it's a um, specifically, more specifically, another werewolf film like Ginger Snaps. So, yeah, I'll check that one out. Definitely. Now, March 23rd, Some Kind of Hate. Relentless bullying has turned Lincoln's life into a nightmare, but he soon learns the true meaning of terror when he is sent to a remote school for troubled teens and the harassment starts all over again. Only this time, someone is watching. A teenage girl named Moira, Moira who, is who was driven to suicide by vicious bullying years ago. When Lincoln accidentally summons Moira from the grave, he unleashes a vengeful and unstoppable force on a mission of blood-soaked revenge. Sounds interesting, but I typically don't like ghost movies. Uh, I don't like spirit stuff. I don't like ghost stuff. I don't like the devil himself stuff. I don't like haunted house movies. Those are our possession films. Those are the other things. I mean, I'll do them here and there for reviews, especially if people kind of call it out and be like, oh man, I'd really like you to do this one. And you can put some comments down on <laughs> Excuse me about that. I will take recommendations. It's not a guarantee that I'll get to them, but I'll take some recommendations. And then the last one, Housewife. 
Haunted by horrific childhood trauma for 20 years, Holly struggles with vivid, disturbing nightmares that leave her detached and unable to live a normal life. Then an old friend recommends Holly meet with a charismatic cult leader, leading her on a twisted journey of waking dreams that will begin to unravel the fabric of reality and reveal the truth about Holly's family, a terrifying destiny. That one sounds interesting. That one could be like one of those possession ones or the devil himself or like ghost. But um, the premise is interesting enough. That setup is pretty interesting. I might check that one out. Housewife sounds interesting. So obviously the big thing that's not there that a lot of people wanted. Uh, no announcement about the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs. I'm assuming, and I've been assuming it's probably going to be in April. Because I believe that's when it started last year. And I figure they're probably just going to keep the same schedule. So... I don't know. Hopefully when I do this update next April, I'm able to bring that news. But okay. So anyone who just wanted to hear the shutter stuff, you can sign off now. People who want to know what I'm working on at the moment. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Clear us out. This is terrible. I hate being sick. So anyone who wants to know what I'm working on for this month of March, uh, what I definitely have scheduled coming out. I definitely have a review for ready or not. I definitely have a review for, Return of the Living Dead 2 and Return of the Living Dead 3. Um, I am potentially going to be working on one for, I mean, I will be working on it. I don't know if it's for this month or the next month. One for Dr. Sleep. Uh, I am also going to work on ones for uh, Don't Torture a Duckling by Lucio Fulci and Cat of Nine Tales by Dario Argento. So those are definite ones that are either 100% coming out in March or coming out either in March or April. So those are those are all definites. Um, I'm working on some TV series as well. Obviously, those take a little bit longer. So like I said before, I'm watching through the Deadlands through my screeners. So that review should be this month. Uh, I'm also working on Lock and Key on Netflix. That one should also be this month. And then I'm also working on The Outsider through HBO. That one might be next month, but um, those are the three shows I'm working on at the moment. There are some other shows I'm going to jump into. After I get those done, I'm thinking about doing What We Do in the Shadows, the FX show, um, as well as the second season of Terror, uh, the one they're calling Terror Infamy. I think I'm going to jump to that one as well. But Oh, I'm also thinking about doing Stand Against Evil. Uh, that could be a good one. So people put some comments down there. Are there specific movies you would really love to see me re do reviews on or specific shows? Just let me know. Um, <laughs> I know at one point someone had said that they might want American Horror Story. Want me to do all the seasons of American Horror Story. I could do that. Um, obviously that would take some time, but I've only actually watched the first season of American Horror Story before. I never watched past that, but I had interest. So that would be okay. So yeah, put some recommendations down there. It's not guaranteed I'll do it, but I'll think about doing some stuff. Um, and yeah, cool. But thanks everyone for checking this out. Once again, I hope we get that news on Joe Bob and the last drive-in for next month. But thanks for checking this out. Do me a quick favor. Hit the subscribe as your way to pay me back for any of the videos that I do. If you like any of them, do the thumbs up. If you already subscribed or if you just want to keep encouraging me and comments, comments, comments about whatever. But thanks, and until next time, keep it brutal.